Look at that contraption. How to set up a radio mic to record the audio directly into your DSLR and monitor the audio at the same time. Hi, I'm Grant and this is the second video of two I have made on getting radio mic audio directly into your DSLR or Canon DSLR in this case. I'll put a link up here to the first video I made on setting up your radio mic for recording it directly into your DSLR. This video is using the same setup with a radio mic but it is now with the ability to monitor the audio that you're recording, which you couldn't do in the first video. Why would you want to monitor the audio? It is always good practice to monitor the audio that's going into your camera so you can pick up interference or scratching or problems with the audio that you do not want to get back into your post-production, your edit suite and realize that you've missed bits of audio or it doesn't sound great. Radio mics can be very susceptible to interference or scratching of the lapel mic when they are on your interviewee's clothes or if they're shuffling or moving, you'll hear it scratching which can ruin the audio. Radio mics also have, because they're using a radio frequency, they can sometimes Times, there can be interference and it can drop out or or get a buzz or some other thing which was which will ruin your audio track so if you're monitoring it you can stop the audio and re-record it or fix that problem there and then rather than getting it back to edit suite and realizing that you've lost it or didn't get good clean audio so here's the problem cameras such as this one here which is a Canon 70d and I know the Canon 60d and I think the 7d mark 1 they don't, even though they have a mic in jack for attaching external microphones, they don't have a headphone out jack, so therefore you can't hear what the camera is recording. So here is my low cost solution for a setup which enables you to monitor it and record it directly into the camera at the same time. So in a nutshell, even though this looks more complicated than it actually is, all I'm really doing here is I am taking the radio mic receiver's feed and I am taking it directly into a Zoom H1 recorder and then I am splitting the output. So one output goes to the camera and one output um, from the spare jack goes to my headphones so I can hear what's going. Here's a diagram which simplifies what I'm actually doing. So all we're doing is we're taking the radio mic receiver and we're taking the audio out of that and we are plugging it directly into the Zoom H1's line in jack. We're then putting a splitter or an audio Y cable and then basically we're doubling the feed from the headphone or line out jack. We're taking one feed to a headphone to monitoring and one feed of the audio directly into the camera. And that's all we're doing. So apart from the radio mic which I covered in part one of these, these two videos, here is what you will need. A Zoom H1 recorder with line in and line out audio jacks. And these are approximately $100 on Amazon. A headphone splitter jack or cable, and that was about $5. Just watch out for some of the cable headphone splitters as they have a speaker out and a microphone in separate cables. You just need one that will send audio to two outputs. A 3.5 millimeter stereo jack to stereo jack extension cable. And I use an optional triple shoe mount, cold shoe mount here for mounting all of this stuff on. That was about $20, that was about $5, that was about $3, and this is about $100. And this is how I attach it all to the camera. And in case any of you are wondering, this wee orange cable is just a small handheld uh, lanyard I use for, so I don't drop the camera when I'm hand holding it. So I've attached the cold shoe adapter to the hot shoe here. I mount the radio receiver. I also put on the Zoom H1 and I've got a wee cold shoe to quarter 20 tripod mount. Now I plug in the radio mic receiver output directly into the line in mount on your Zoom H1. I then attach the audio splitter to the line out on my Zoom H1, which gives me my two jacks. I then plug in my stereo extension cable into one of the jacks and then into the mic in on my Canon 70D here. And I can then plug in my headphones or earbuds into the other socket here, that's for the monitoring. And now we're good to go. Okay, I power up my radio mic transmitter and receiver here on the camera. 
So I've attached the radio mic transmitter to myself and you can see my level here and I set the level on the Zoom H1 to um, so that it's about between minus 12 and minus 6 which it is there and in this case the level of you'll see there about 20 seems to be working just right. Okay we now make sure that the camera we make sure that the sound recording is set to manual and we can check the levels here and you'll see that they're on about minus 12 a little bit over that. Now to adjust the output volume you will be using your volume you'll be using the volume controls which are on the side of the zoom one here to to send the level to your camera and in this case I've got the volume set to about 67 which I when then I check it on the camera and that level on the camera is good. The other benefit of this system which I forgot to mention earlier is that you also have redundancy in your audio recording now, now because even though I'm recording directly into the camera I will also hit record on here so I've got a backup copy of my recording on my Zoom H1 as well. And that is everything so now you can monitor your audio and record a backup copy all at the same time using a radio mic direct into your Canon DSLR. And that's it. I would only generally use a setup like this for formal interviews and therefore you'll be able to monitor the audio and listen for any problems. So I hope that's a help. Thanks for watching.